All right, so, Scene Safety BSI. I'm gonna direct my partner to take in line of mobilization and C-spine. I'm gonna come in and introduce myself to the patient. Hi, my name's Joe, my name EMP. Is it okay if I help you today? All right, so, I'm gonna come in and I'm going to check CSMs. I'm gonna check for my radial pulses. You feel me touching the same on both sides? All right, you squeeze my hands for me. All right, so, legs will be out, pants, shoes will be removed. I'm gonna check for pedal pulses. Feel me touching you, same on both sides. All right, can you wiggle your toes for me? All right, so I'm gonna come in and I'm going to start to size and apply cervical collar. So I'm gonna remove all clothing. That would be around the patient. Clothing would be removed so that this collar can sit on bare skin. We're gonna size and apply the cervical collar from the trapezius to the angle of the jaw. And then I'm going to apply this collar. All right, working around my partner. And again, all of this clothing would be removed and we'd be coming in on their skin. We're going to come under, slide this around. I'm going to make sure that we have a secure fit. Making sure that the collar is midline. I can still see the trachea. I can check for my pulses. And it's centered on my feet. All right, so applied on bare skin. After applying the cervical collar, I'll check my, pedal, uh, my pulses again. Squeeze my hands. All right, you can still feel me touching your same on both sides, no changes. I'm gonna check for pedal pulses. You can feel me touching your same on both sides. And can you wiggle your toes for me? All right, so at this point, we're going to start to apply the head. So I'm going to come in and I'm gonna work around my partner, so never releasing a mobilization. I'm going to open up the device and we're going to preload our straps so that way it's easy to work around our, our patient. This is gonna come in, we're gonna slide this behind. And I'm going to secure this. I want this as we come around. This should fit one finger breath under the patient's axilla. So I'm gonna make sure this is up high enough. And I'm gonna come in and I'm going to secure my torso strap. I'll pull this in place. We're gonna use the feed method pushing and pulling so that we're not causing any gross manipulation. And again, making sure that this is still high enough up on my patient. And secure it in place. I will then secure the rest of my torso straps. So you should feel this getting secure. It shouldn't cause you any pain. Let me know if anything changes. And we're going to do this. I might take a, take a deep breath. Release. And make sure that these are all snug. We're gonna to move to the leg straps. We're gonna come from the back. And we want these straps to come straight down the back side of the patient. So, making sure we're not getting caught on anything in the environment. The seat, the car seat, any of the equipment. And we're going to slide this under the patient Again, everything would be removed from pockets. And we're going to do this in kind of a seesaw fashion. And we're gonna come across, making sure that we're keeping this straight down the back of the patient. So if this were too far out, then it won't act as a seat. So we pull this all the way over. And again, we're gonna come around and secure this. All right, so we want this to be nice and tight. Again, this is what's gonna hold the patient up when we go to move them. Coming around the other side, we're gonna do the same thing with this leg strap. We're going to release it. We're going to make sure that we start off keeping it right where we need it to be. Slide it under the patient's extremity, making sure there's no twists, and that we're lined up in the back. So, we'll then come through. We're going to do this in a saw fashion, making sure again that we are straight down, back side of the patient, nothing's gotten twisted, 
and we'll come around and we're going to secure this. Feeding method again. If anything needed to be adjusted, the patient could do so. And we're going to make sure that this is nice and secure. No slack, we won't run the finger breath. All right, now that we've secured the torso and the straps, we'll take a look and make sure that everything is tight before we secure the head. If we needed to re-tighten any of our straps, we would do so. And now I'm gonna work with my partner to transfer C-spine while we secure the head. I'm gonna come around and my partner is going to release their hand, hold over the flap. I'm going to, so we've never released C-spine, we've just transferred it. I'm gonna make sure, take a look that there's no voids if there were any voids we needed to, we would pad. And now we're going to secure the patient in the device. Coming under the collar, and my partner will take over that, making sure there's no deformity to the collar, that we're still able to check for pulses. You can see the trachea, and now coming over the head. We'll secure this. My partner will hold the spine there. We're using tape, we'll make sure that we're not going over the eyebrows or that we folded it so it was an easier release on the patient. We're going to come in, I'm going to check the CSMs, radial pulses, you feel me touching you, same on both sides, squeeze my hands, all right, check the fetal pulses, and you feel me touching you, same on both sides, and can you wiggle your toes. All right, I can now direct my partner to release immobilization. We have the patient secured in the device. We're going to transfer the patient using the appropriate number of resources. We're going to lay them onto the longboard. We're then going to release the leg straps so that they can lay flat and make sure that the device hasn't been manipulated during that movement and that it still fits and keeps them in a neutral position. We're going to transfer them to the stretcher in the ambulance, go to the level one trauma center, and there we're going to transfer care to an equal or higher healthcare provider.